Look how good that looks. Oh, what's going on, guys? So, I have a little bit of time today, so I want to get started on the motor box. And my goal today is to pick which set of wheels that I want to run and then figure out which set of front forks I want to run. I couldn't find any tutorials on how to mount the pocket bike forks, but I've seen a lot of people do it, so it can't be that hard. Hopefully turn this into a roller by the end of the video. It's pretty much my goal. Let's uh let's see what we got here and let's see if we can get a set of these forks mounted. So I'm going to go with the black wheels. So the silver wheels and the three spokes will be up for sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mocked up, get the brake caliper mocked up, get the back wheel on, and then after that we'll move to the front and figure out the forks. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do with the brake caliper or the bracket is I would just get like a spacer and just run a spacer in between there, drill a hole, nut and bolt it. And then that will hold the caliper. So I'm not gonna make any custom brackets, not gonna weld anything crazy. Just gonna get a spacer, put it in between there, nut and bolt, boom, caliper mounted. Simple, easy, effective. So now let's get to the area of the unbeknownst to me, which is trying to mount the triple forks to the motor box frame. Let's get this removed. You guys did see we did a lot, we spent, and that is equal an effort to get that right. Uh, it will still settle a bit, but we're not exactly. And guess what? The V nose guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. It's a Come on, man. Uh, I took these little spacer adapter things out of the silver wheel forks and I'm gonna put them in the triple tree of the black wheel forks but the hole is like half of a millimeter too small that I'm gonna take my little grinding tool that I bought off Amazon and I'll put a link in the description of these and I'm just gonna put this in my drill and just gonna grind that hole out just big enough to where I can fit these in there. So both of them, and it only took like really like five actual minutes both of them are where they fit in and i'll probably just hammer them in after that but i mean they fit in where they're supposed to let's get these installed and let's get them on the bike this bolt is eight and a quarter inches long the motovox bolt is six and a half so you're gonna need a much longer bolt Amazon delivered uh, our handlebar, handlebar risers, clamps, whatever you want to call them. So what I've done here is that I've made a little tape template. And all this does is that it, it kind of outlines where the little gap is underneath. Let's 
so that's actually pretty much right where we want it. That one's roughly in the same spot. So now let's uh, step it up to the size drill bit that we need for the uh, bolt to go through. Handlebars are mounted on the bike. So let's get the bike on the ground and let's see how it looks. Of course, not the final placement, but you know, we are making moves and we are on our way. <clears throat> so that's why I'm gonna end this episode. Gotta order some parts, uh, but for now, this is what we have, and this will conclude this first episode, which I feel like we got a lot done. So, until the next one, peace.